Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and today I got something really cool to show you guys. What I have in front of me is an infinite village breeder system for Minecraft 1.8. It's really easy to build, really simple, doesn't take a lot of materials to do, and as you can see, they just created a baby. Uh, it, it works really well. It gets you about one villager every 10 minutes or so, and you can see I got one in the tube there still waiting to grow up, and one already there. And uh, as many of you guys probably know, the villagers now have to be willing in order to breed. And so what we did here is we just create a little farm for these guys. We put a farmer in there and he will harvest these potatoes. And basically he'll hand them off to his buddy over there who he thinks is hungry and needs some food. And once they both have uh, consumed a little bit of food and they have some in their inventory, they will become willing to breed. And they will breed because we have some doors down there with another villager. And he's in there basically just to detect the village and he he sees that there's six doors and he thinks that there needs to be him and at least one other guy. Uh, but because he's way down there, he doesn't see these guys up here, just the way the game mechanics work. So kind of odd, but it totally works. And basically what will happen is because he these village this village thinks it needs to keep getting populated with at least two villagers, these guys up here will continue to breed forever and ever, and they continue to become willing because the farm will restock them with the food it takes to get them willing. Oh, and, <laughs> and there you saw it. So the baby just ran on out, and basically what we have in the corner here is a trap door, and the babies will wander into these, this area. Basically, they see the trap door. They, don't, they think it's a, a full block there, and they can run right into it. And they fall down into the little water gap there. They come over, and then uh, basically I put this elevator here for a couple reasons. One, I wanted a way to be able to shut this thing off, so kind of cruel and unusual. But you can flip this, and then when they grow up, they'll basically suffocate in the, uh, the water block here. And if you want to leave it on, you open the gate, and when they grow up, they will continue up. And then at this point, you can do whatever you want. You can carry the water tube up over wherever you want. Um, take them to, you know, if you're stocking up for, a, you know, an iron titan or your villager trading system, whatever you need villagers for, um, there's lots of uses for them, and there's a lot of good things you can do with their trades now. So... That's basically how it works. Uh, might as well just jump right into the tutorial and show you guys how to build it. So here's some materials you're gonna need to build this thing. You're gonna need 79 dirt because we're gonna plant some potatoes on it. Also gonna need that iron hoe so that we can till them and be able to plant these. And then you're gonna need two stacks just about of either glass blocks or you could use solid blocks. I do prefer the glass just so that you can see through and see what the villagers are up to and all that good stuff. I'm going to need six doors to simulate the village, and you're going to need three villagers. Now, one of these villagers is going to have to be wearing the brown coat. So you can have a Fletcher, a Farmer, a Fisherman, or a Shepherd. Um, any of those professions will do, but it does need to be a brown-coated villager. And you will need 79 potatoes to get your farm started. Now, you could just start with one and let it grow, and the guy will replant, but it's going to take you much longer to get the thing up and running. So if you can get yourself uh, 79, you can fully plant the whole thing. And even if you have some bone meal or something just to get them going a little faster, that helps too. Uh, get nine glowstone blocks here. Now you can go cheaper on this too if you want. You can just have some floating, you know, torches. You know, have a block with some torches connected to them. The reason for this is to keep this thing lit up uh, at night, which helps the crops grow and keeps the mobs out because you don't want any villager or any zombies getting to your villagers inside the cage and and taking over and you know turning them into zombie villagers. That'd be bad. Also, I want to do a carpet, so we can, uh, we're going to have a water source in the middle of the farm. We're going to cover that water source with carpet so these guys don't fall in. You could use a lily pad if that is a little easier for you to get as well. And then a trap door, and that's how we kind of spoof the uh, block in the corner for the babies to fall into. Now, once you start carrying those babies out, these items will vary for you. Um, but you, if you want to put the system in where you can shut it off and have the adult villagers drowned in the fence gate, you'll need a solid block to put the lever on, and then the fence gate will go next to that. And then, depending on how your water elevator is, you're going to need signs. You will need at least one water source for the farm itself, but the other water sources I have here are just to kind of create your, your water canal to, to transport these guys. So that's all up to you on how many you will need. So the first thing you're going to want to do is dig out a 9 by 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're going to dig out this whole square right here. Uh, and that is if you want to flush with the ground, because we're going to change this out with the dirt. Uh, so let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, and then you just want to fill it in with the dirt. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to leave the middle spot open. So as soon as we get to the fifth row here, we'll skip one, two, three, four, skip one. And then there you go. And we'll fill the rest of this in all the way. Okay, and now you can go to the center here and put your water source in. And we'll go ahead and get planting as well. So grab your hoe and just go ahead and start tilling all this soil here. Okay, and then go ahead and plant your potatoes. Okay, and now we can take our carpet and place it. If you look at this seed right there, you can see the hit box on the side, and you can place your carpet against that, and that will cover that water source. Then you can just walk right across. Um, you can do that with the with the lily pad. You can just set it right on top of the water. But if you're doing carpet, you need to look for that side hit box of the seeds. Okay, for the next step, we're going to go ahead and do the barrier around this thing to make sure these guys stay in. So just go ahead and start at a corner. Uh, make sure you go too high. And then we'll just go all the way around just like so. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is pick the corner in which we want the baby villagers to fall down into. So we'll come over to this one and we are going to actually trample this spot right there so that it's regular dirt again. And then we're going to dig this block out two down and we'll just make a little tunnel just like so. And you can take this out a couple blocks. It actually does help if you take them out a ways um, because then you don't have the other villagers inside trying to toss them food. Um, so that kind of keeps them from giving away the food and, and that way they can stay willing longer. So you want to go grab your trap door here and put it right there, pop it on down, and then you can put your water source in there. And that's going to carry them over as far as you need to. And then you can take your sign right there, put one there, put one there, and then we can kind of create our, uh, start doing our water elevator. So once you do that, um, you will want to make sure you top this thing off so that nobody can get in. And we'll just do it like that. You can just do it that much if you like. Um, one thing to keep in mind is zombies can attack through this little corner here, so they could be able to reach your villagers. So make sure that you do a full kind of circle around any kind of tube you do that, that mobs would have access to that, that little corner gap there. So uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. And then we just go up a couple water sources here. It's up to you how far up you want to go. If you want to put in a lever, you can do that now. We're actually going to have to put one down just to put our fence gate on. So we'll do that, remove that block, put a water source back in, and then there you go. Keep building up. Like I said, as far as you need to go, and then it's up to you exactly what you do with them after this point. So just build your water elevator up, and we'll do one more source there, and then I'll just kind of cap this thing off that much here. And of course, don't forget to put in, you can actually put it on the outside here if you wish, um, but you will need a lever to power that block and that will open and close your gate there and allow them through. So there you go, that's how you do that part. Um, now the next part is to get the village in and what you wanna do is just on this side as well, come in the center here and we're gonna dig down seven blocks, three wide here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And seven down. And then we're going to dig out a couple blocks here. And this is where our doors are going to go. So grab your doors and put those in. And then you also may want to light this up in here. You could just use torches. I'll go ahead and just put some glowstone on the ground here, just like so. But you can put torches there. That works as well. And at this point, you'll need to get a villager in here. So you're going to be our detection villager. And then just so that we don't get any mobs falling in there, we'll go ahead and put a glass ceiling on it. You will need to use glass here because you want sunlight to hit those doors. Otherwise, it won't detect it as a village. Okay, and the next step would be to go ahead and get your, your villagers in here. So we'll see if we get lucky and get a, uh, a brown coat. So you can be the first one, but the next one's going to have to be wearing a brown coat. Oh, okay. So let me, let me go ahead and kill this guy and get us a brown coat. And I almost forgot something very important. You're gonna to need to put a block right there and that way the adult villagers don't uh, fall for the trap door themselves and that way only the, the baby ones will. So make sure you do that uh, before you start getting your villagers in here. Otherwise, you may be sending them for a ride. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, this guy decided to trample my crop in the meantime, so we're gonna to have to go ahead and replace that block. All right, let's put our potato back. All right, so this is our farmer. He's, let's see what his profession is. He's actually a shepherd, um, but he'll work just the same. 
and he will start harvesting this. Like I said, it does help if you have bone meal to kind of, if you want to get this thing up and running a little faster, bone meal this out, he'll start harvesting. Or better yet, uh, if you want to get them going straight away, you could throw, throw them even more potatoes if you can afford it. So the, there's eight stacks of inventory inside of each one of these villagers, at least eight, eight stacks of uh, potatoes that they can hold. Um, so if you want to just go ahead and fill their inventory up, uh, see before he even filled it up, he's, he's willing. So there we go. And the next step is to put a roof on this thing. Now this is up to you if you want to put a roof on it. Um, doesn't make a difference, but it, I think it does look nicer. Um, and of course, like I mentioned, you will want to have light sources. So we'll start with light sources just to make sure this thing still works at night and no uh, zombies can spawn inside it. What I like to do is just put a block in the center here. So you go two above the carpet there. Uh, or the, the ground, and then I just kind of do this pattern, and it does provide plenty of light. So I do two blocks, and then uh, glowstone, two blocks, glowstone, and you can kind of do this pattern all the way around. Filling it in as you go um, seems to work pretty nice and looks nice as well. So I'll go ahead and finish that up. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something that looks like that. That's going to provide plenty of light so mobs can't spawn, and your crops will grow nice and strong. You can see they're already growing there. And uh, that's it. So these guys will breed. Babies will always go and run into the hole. I've done a quite a bit of testing. I've never had a baby not fall into the hole before it grew up. Um, so that should happen all the time for you guys. And they'll fall in. Then they will kind of either stay down there. Or sometimes they float up, but it doesn't matter. And they'll grow up. And then you have an infinite adult villager breeder. And like I said, you get about one every 10 minutes, which is not bad. If you AFK here, you'll get a nice bunch kind of, uh, you know, you could just AFK for a night and you come back and you're going to have a ton in here. And that's one thing I do want to tell you to keep in mind. If you AFK too long and you build up too many entities, you do risk kind of crashing your world. So be cognizant of that. You don't want to have too many villagers here lagging your world out to the point that you can't play it anymore. Um, but yeah, they will breed infinitely and you can AFK so you don't have to get involved at all with the process. It doesn't require bone meal or any of that, any manual intervention. So this thing is really great. Like I said, really easy to build. You guys saw me build it. Doesn't take many materials. So hopefully this will be something you can use in your worlds and you enjoy using and being able to enjoy all the trades or make an iron farm. <laughs> so cool. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a like. If you're not subscribed already, why not? Uh, hit the subscribe button as well. I got plenty of other tutorials as well as some cool Let's Plays. So I will see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.